welcome guys in this new video and in today's video i will tell you what you have to do if you have registration in two different nursing councils in india the reason behind creating this video is that many of you have already registration in two different states there might be different reasons of having a registration in two different nursing councils one reason can be if you have studied your nursing in different state and you are practicing your nursing in different state and some people do their general nursing in one state and do their post basic BSc nursing in different state some people do their BSc nursing in different state and do their MSc nursing in different state because of that they have to do their registration in two different states but if you have two different registration then you have to be very careful while doing your registration process with UKNMC because if you will go to my second step of NMC registration video there you will finding lots of queries regarding registration process if they have registration in two different nursing councils if you are also having the same problem of having registration in two different states then this video is for you because in this video you will know what you have to do if you have two registrations some people have also problem that their first registration is with different state and this registration is not valid on the date when they are applying for you can MC registration which can be in different state it can be active so in all this situation what you have to do I will tell you in today's video so before going forward in this video if you are new in this channel and if you want to know more about nursing in the UK and if you are going through the process of UK and MC registration then this channel will be helpful for you to gain all the knowledge regarding UK and MC process and how your life will be easy after coming to the UK so if you are a registered nurse and you are planning to come to the UK then please consider subscribing this channel so now we will talk about the process what you have to do first of all when you are doing UKNMC registrations first step which is providing your data to UKNMC that time you have to keep in mind that if you have completed your GNM plus post basic BSc nursing or if you have completed your BSc nursing and MSc nursing then you have to provide your basic nursing education on this website if you have done your GNM and after that you have done PBBSC nursing and after that you have done MSc in nursing then also you have to provide your GNM credential on UKNMC's website so we will just take an example suppose you have completed your general nursing and midwifery which is GNM in Maharashtra and your post basic BSc nursing in Karnataka or if you have completed your nursing in Maharashtra and you are working in Karnataka so to work in Karnataka you have to register yourself with Karnataka nursing council to work in this state because if you want to work in any particular state you have to be registered with that nursing council so while providing details to UKNMC you have to provide details of Maharashtra nursing council we are taking Maharashtra and Karnataka as an example you have to put details of your nursing council where you have taken your basic nursing education so when you will put these details to UKNMC's website UKNMC will do third party verification with your nursing council where you have taken your primary education in nursing so in this case UKNMC will contact Maharashtra Nursing Council and they will ask Maharashtra Nursing Council that the person who has applied for registration in UKNMC is currently registered with you and that person has registration with you on this particular date or not then Maharashtra Nursing Council will reply to UKNMC that yes this candidate was registered with us on this date but at the moment if your registration is not currently active with Maharashtra Nursing Council then Maharashtra Nursing Council will tell UKNMC that this person was registered with us but now his registration is not valid with us so this report will not do any harm to your UKNMC's process at this time UKNMC will show that your third party verification is completed but they will also generate a report where they will show that you are currently not registered with Maharashtra Nursing Council but they told that you were registered with them on this particular date so after that what you have to do after that you will have to take CBT and you have to complete your second step of NMC registration so in second step of NMC registration first of all you have to do your health declaration and uh, you have to provide your IELTS and OET certificate you have to provide your police clearance certificate and if you are registered with two nursing councils then you have to provide regulators details as well if any person who is registered with only one nursing council that time they don't have to provide detail 
of regulators because in third party verification everything will be covered but if you are registered with two nursing council that time UKNMC will ask you about regulator verification and during second step of NMC registration you have to provide details of your current nursing registration that can be if you have done your post graduation or post basic BSc nursing in particular state that time your current registration might be with that state if you have completed your basic nursing education in some particular state and if you are working in different state then that time your registration might be with different nursing councils so in second stage of UKNMC registration you have to provide the details of active registration at any place your registration is active you have to provide that particular council's details on UKNMC's website so this is very easy you don't have to overthink about it it is a very easy step but if you are registered with two nursing councils that time you might be thinking that it is very difficult part but after watching this video I am sure that your all doubts might be cleared so this is all for uh, third party verification and take second step of UKNMC registration where you have to provide details of your nursing councils so I hope this video was informative to you if you think this video was helpful for you then like this video subscribe the channel and share this content with your friends who need this video thank you guys for watching this video